Hi everyone, welcome. I have a special broadcast today and I thought Lady Gaga could kick it off. I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business strategist at TotalGenius.net where I help you discover uh, and transform your ex expertise and life experience into a brand story that connects and sells. And so today, I wanted to talk about the edge that you have over your competition. And I know you probably are thinking, uh, I'm going to give you like six steps, the 10 ways, three things that you can go do to get the edge over your competition. And you know what? I don't have any steps. I have nothing. If you want like actual uh strategies and different things broken down into steps. I have all of that at totalgenius.net. And today, but today, I want to talk about the edge that you have over your competition. So this broadcast is specifically for the intelligent, smart, good-hearted people that may uh, have a lot of, um, I hate to call them freeloaders because, you know, everybody wants information. But people that, you know, that are your audience and they're just not buying. And you're not attracting the people that you want to be attracting. Your raving fans. Your thousand true fans. And I think that I found your raving fans. I found your ideal clients. You may want to share this broadcast if you have friends that, that want to find their ideal clients. Just go down to your left and press that share button. But I found your ideal clients and you know where they are? They are inside of you. This is something that, that is very interesting and the reality is, is that uh, you are intelligent. You're smart, you have some sort of expertise, you've been doing your business for years, whatever it is, you know, you have a talent, you, um, you read minds, you know, whatever it is that you do, at least I know my clients and the people that I work with, the people that come to me are, are really intelligent and they have like certifications and years and degrees, MBAs, and they go and, they're, and everything, they seem to be doing everything right. But when you go deeper, what I realize is that they're doing actually everything wrong. I know you've downloaded, you've bought coaching programs, you've done all the things that other people are teaching that are the magic formula. But that magic formula, it may work for some people, but what I find is that those, those things, those magic formulas, the you know high ticket sales and all those things that supposedly are the magic answer, they actually are the magic blocker for intelligent um, people who have, you know, some sort of certification or something else. Because what happens is, and at least I know this is for a very specific crowd, but there's a side to you that's kind of a people pleaser, number one. Number two, because of your expertise and your training, um, you, you were probably raised to do everything right, right? And so you follow the rules and you learn these things. You've downloaded a million freebie opt-ins that say that they have the magic thing. And unfortunately, you know, what that ends up doing is that it actually blocks your magic thing which is you. I know you've heard the term personal branding before, and it's not just like, uh, you know, this phrase. It's not. In fact, it's a much deeper concept. <laughs> Elizabeth. It's a much deeper concept than, um, than what you think. Personal branding is not just what people say about you behind, uh, when you've left the room. Personal branding goes down to everything. You know, it, it's, it's what is the image you're projecting? What are the words you are saying? 
there's not like, you know, there, there is a magic formula to storytelling and to copywriting, but who you are at a core, at a core level, what you do, how you came to your discoveries, the person that you are who learned all those things and then um, put them inside your head and then they outputted them in a certain way, nobody else has done that like you. So, you know, I've said this before, there are a million different business strategists, business coaches out there. And the reality is, is if I tried to be like all of them, I would be, I would be speechless. I wouldn't be able to get on this live broadcast without notes. I would be a deer in the headlights because in my personal life, as you can tell by the way I'm dressed, I'm wearing something cute, by the way, I'm me. I've always been me. And every time, like in my corporate job, I was forced to wear a suit, show up as something that I was not. It was like I didn't fit in. And maybe I fit in in the room, but I didn't fit in in my head. And so my do-everything-right brain would beat myself up. You know, why don't I fit in? Why don't I understand this? Why can't I sit still at these day-long, 12-hour conferences? I got in trouble because it was so boring to me, and I couldn't understand why everyone's, like, sitting there for, like, 12 hours without going to the bathroom. And I must have... It was, it was ridiculous. I, I never fit in until I realized I don't fit in. And the more that I can express myself and the more that I could be me, the more that people are attracted to me. So that's why when I launched my business the first time, so I, I actually launched it twice. So the first time, uh, which was about, I don't know, it was, it, was, it was a long time ago. And I tried to do everything right tried to follow Marie Forleo. I tried to, you know, I tried to like do everything right. And I was like a deer in the headlights. Despite my, my 25, now 28 years of marketing experience, I, w- I was trying to fit into this cookie cutter thing. And it wasn't until I hired somebody. And I, I don't know, I don't even know, I don't even really think I learned a lot from what she taught, but what I learned from her was that it works to be independent, that it's okay to speak your mind. And the more that you do that, the more your ideal clients will find you. And maybe the people that that you, you have now for your audience, maybe some of them are your ideal clients, and maybe some of them just are not because you're trying to put off an image that is not not quite exactly you. So I was on Instagram um, yesterday, and uh, one of my friends, you know, she she teaches finance, and in her profile photos, which is all I know her by, you know, she's wearing like a suit. She looks all polished, and you know, she's teaching finance. I have no idea like what kind of clients she works for, but if I were just you know, if if I were her. Uh, if I was just, you know, an entrepreneur who was, who who she she works with, I would probably be intimidated. And it wasn't until yesterday I posted this photo of me in rich jeans, like my style. And she was like, oh my God, I, you know, I would show up like that every day. Really? Then why are you showing up so buttoned up? Because you teach something that's stressful already. And she was like, huh, (laughs) interesting. So it's not just about what you wear. It goes much deeper. So, you know, I'm going to get a little, um, this isn't even techie, but if you haven't heard about it yet, heard about him yet, you should get this book. It's uh, by Dr. Bruce Lipton. It's called The Biology of Belief. It's how uh, epigenetics, the outside environment, affects our actual genes. And that research shows today that you can actually reverse your genetics. I actually developed this into my business. It's, I call it your E2 personal blueprint because our personalities are formed between the ages of zero to seven. So, you know, 95% of people, this is just the human race, are born with perfect genetics. And over time, you know, all this disease and cancer and things like that happen. And over time, you know, in life, um, based on, you know, 
your parents were mean to you, you, uh, you know, my neighbor called me chink every day when I was five walking to school. So I grew up, you know, never wanted to be myself. And what ended up happening was over time, I never wanted to be myself. And so I would observe other people, want to be them. And it affected the way I expressed myself in my life, which affected the way people treated me, which affected the way I thought about myself, which is why I have my business today, because I want to help people stop beating themselves up in their head for being themselves and then help them position that into their business. But what I'm trying to tell you is that, you know, your E2 personal blueprint, your personal branding is, is you. It's, it's who you think that you are. And so if everybody is teaching you there's six steps or ten steps, you need to do this. You know, sell them what they want. Give them what they need. You know what? My clients come to me and they're like, you know, they're trying to, to sell them what they want, give them what they need. And back in the olden days, you know, that actually worked. But especially for intelligent, uh, purposeful entrepreneurs, times are changing. People are smart. Information is everywhere. So if you are just teaching one side of things and you're not actually teaching the thing that you really believe to be true, and you wonder then why people don't want to pay you for your value. Do you see a disconnect? Do you see that you're just blending in with all of the other people who are teaching the exact same thing as you? You know, in my recent webinar, Master Your Money Code, I talked about this change that's happening. This change that's happening because everyone's, you're just blending in. You're trying to dumb down your genius. That sounds like a really grand statement, but in actuality, you know, if, all, if people are coming to me saying, you know, that they actually really want to be teaching this, but now, you know, they think that they have to be teaching this because it's the acceptable thing, that's why you're stuck. So one of my clients... She's deeply religious, yet everyone was telling her, you know, um, to position herself like, you know, I can do this. I will help you do this. And there was nothing about who she really was in her business. And because of it, she literally lost her voice, lost it. She, she developed a health condition from it. it. Caused her just to like shut down. And when we reworked her business, you know, she's getting ready to launch. It's beautiful because she, it's like pouring out of her all this information. Your personal branding is what you say about you when you go to bed at night. Because after everyone's left the room, you're still there. <laughs> And don't you see that every time that you show up not as your authentic self, it causes you to not feel like you. And so then it, it turns into not only not paying clients, but it turns into you pulling back. And that's why like things like resistance happens and you know um, personal shame. And so what I want to tell you is that, you know, being you out loud, it's really hard. It's not exactly easy. You know, Steve Jobs, when he first launched, you know, this beautifully designed computer that was like so expensive because, you know, who was going to pay for that? Some people really laughed at him and he only sold to a very small audience in the very beginning. In fact, even like later on, he sold to a very small audience. But you know what happened? Was that that audience raved about him. And soon, he went over the tipping point, as Malcolm Gladwell talks about. And look at Apple now. 
you don't have to be Apple, but you know, history shows that we admire people who have the courage to do things differently, yet everyone's teaching you to do things the same way. And for some people it works. It doesn't work for me. I get blocked. I, I literally like beat myself up. And then every so often I wake up. I'm woken up now because it's so obvious to me. And I want it to be obvious to you that, you know, yes, you do have to position, position yourself the, the right way. Yes, copywriting matters. Yes, there are steps and different things that you have to do in order to position yourself the right way. Yes, you need a brand story. Yes, you need personal branding. But you already have the most important part, which is you. And it's not just what you sell, it's, it's who you are. And if you can get over that hump, that hump of, I'm me, do you, like Seth Godin has this speech and he says, you know, I made something, do you want to buy it? That, that part, it's kind of hard. But if you are committed, if you are committed and you are so passionate about it, nothing can stop you. And it's those that persist and are do it over and over and over again with the solid belief in who they are, what they sell, and what they want to deliver, that message. Those are the ones that win. So that's it. I, I hope that you got something out of this. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would just press that share button. I think so many people need to hear about this. And um, that's it. Have a great night, everyone. And just remember, you are special just being you. Oh, and you may want to read my article about personal branding. It's at totalgenius.net, personal-branding. And uh, my webinar, I'm taking it down after today. So if you want, if you want it, it's, um, you can click on my cover photo and it's up there. Um, so anyway, that's it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.